All right, y'all. Um, not much to say here when it comes to the, the end of the season. If you didn't watch the bowl game, it was fairly embarrassing, to be honest with you. 41-21, uh, Georgia Southern loses to Ohio Bobcats. Um, they came in with a pretty good game plan, but that's not the issue. It seemed like we could not get out of our way until late in the game when we started to see some life. It seemed like it was more like the after the fight that we had with the team in the third quarter, which was cool. Want to see some passion, want to see some fight, want to see some grit. Wasn't able to really see that but um, for, for the entire game, but it is what it is. Don't want to really talk about the game. Really, I don't. Let's talk about what's going to happen going forward. Uh, Davis Brent is not coming back. Uh, he was a one and done. Uh, we are looking for another quarterback, I think, from the rumblings that I hear. Um, I would like to try our quarterbacks in-house. The ones that we have, I think those guys could make a difference because they've been around long enough. They know the system. And I don't think there'll be much of a turnover machine like Bryn was. Bryn interceptions was, like, ridiculous. He literally threw it at the other team. It wasn't like a read and react play for the defense. Some of these throws were, like, right at the defense. It was really bad to watch. Nevertheless, I think Coach Clay Helton, I think Coach Clay Helton will be coming back next year. But honestly, I think he should be gone. You lose five in a row, and the way that you lose these games by being, I would say in some cases, stubborn, not trying to put the other quarterbacks in to get a, to give them some reps, give them a shot, give them some you know familiarity on the field. Uh, like I said, I, I think I said this before. I don't know if I said it on the video, but I think that Coach Clay Helton and company has an issue developing quarterbacks. I'm not sure if they're able to do so. Not only that, it seemed like the offensive line regressed so bad. To the point where you're, you're starting to think, like, is there any type of development there as well? Because last year, they were one of the best offensive lines in the country. Now, I know the offensive line coach left to go to Louisville, but I don't expect it to be that big of a drop-off. It was, it, it was bad. So, with that being said, what happens with Georgia Southern? Another 6-7 and seven season. Um, it, 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 it it's pretty it's pretty rough. I mean, yeah, you made it the bowl games, you backdoored your way into this one, and uh, it was it, it just didn't feel like we was going to win this game out the gate. I gave us reasons why we should have won the game, um, but when you give up forty one points to a third string team or a, a third string offense, because you got to understand. This quarterback was the second string. And I and there's I think there was some rumblings that he was probably even the third string. The running back was the third string. You lose both, they lose both of their receivers. Cause all of them went to the transfer portal. And you still got 41 points hung on you. That's not that's not because the, the Ohio Bobcats are that good. That was because the defense played that bad. And that goes back to the coaching. Offensively and defensively. I mean, it, you can't... This is very hard to defend. It's very hard to defend this. So, what? this is what I expect to see. I expect Coach Clay Helton to probably be relieved of his duties. That's my... That's, that's what I expect. And I know I've made friends with, with some guys on the coaching staff, which is pretty cool. But I'm sorry, you just, you just can't get the job done. You can't get the job done. That's what I expect. Now, what I think will happen, I think Coach Clay Helton will have another year. And I think the, this year is definitely going to be a make or break season because the overall body of work is two, six, and seven seasons. That's not necessarily terrible when you look at it at that standpoint. But when you look at it from a standpoint that you lost the last five games, and the way you lost the last five games where this air raid offense 
looked like the air was deflated out of the balloon and you're being stubborn on top of that. You don't want to make any changes to that system that's failing. I can say that's a fireable offense. You can make a really good case for that. There's not really a big case to keep him around. Some people are saying because of a buyout. Some people be saying because you need to see through the process. But like I said, it's one thing if you're going down swinging with a quarterback that you're developing from day one. I get it. But you're bringing in one-year one rentals, and this is not a shot at Kyle Van Trees, because I think he did a phenomenal job, but it's making Kyle Van, Kyle Van Trees body of work look that bad. Because you're not bringing someone in that's going to be a develop, that, that's going to up to elevate what we're doing. So now we're looking at a situation that we're like, all right, what happens now? You know, it's just going to be a wait and see approach. I gave you my thoughts. I feel like that he's going to be bought around for another year. He got one more year to turn it around. But my expectations as a commentator for the Georgia Southern Eagles, in my uh, opinion, I feel like he should be let go now. That's just my thoughts and opinion. Maybe Jared Binko will do it. Maybe he won't. But either way, we got to get ready. Next season starts now. Got to make something happen. Well, I got my wife and son with me. We about to go to a family member's house. We are driving on the way there now. So I'm going to get off of this phone before the traffic gets too bad. Because, you know, if you live in the Atlanta area and you know what the interstate is like, got to build your P's and Q's. Even on a Saturday. All right, y'all, I'm out. I'll speak to y'all soon. Y'all be blessed. Peace. You mean peace? You say peace, son? Tell them peace. peace. <laughs>